guys. Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are uh, having a great day or night or morning out there. I'm uh, going to break this one down for you. It's a real classic, and it's also got some really cool, uh, you know, kind of rhythm guitar tricks that are not those standard chord strumming. So I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, also, I'd really appreciate that extra support. You can go check out my website, GuitarJams.com. You can check it out down there, plus the social media stuff, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all that. All the links below this box, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, but let's zoom in and break this one down. Here we go. All right, one thing to keep in mind is that the original recording of this, the guitar is tuned down a half step, uh, which means it's just tuned totally regular, um, except each one is one half step down. Okay, so that will match you up. But the way I'm going to show you right now in standard tuning is all the proper fingering, but just to match up the recording, you just got to change the tuning. Okay, so it's really, it's the key of E major, and it's kind of mostly... Uh, a progression that's going from E major to A major. But instead of thinking of it as the regular chords, we're doing like little, little orchestrations on the guitar using open strings. So the first little part of the riff, uh, which we'll call the verse, has this droning E. For the first little phrase, then open A for the second half. Right? Um, it sounds better when I actually play it and not sing it, but just get the idea that the main verse has an open E drone for the first part. For that part, second part has an open A drone. So that had the A going for that second half, okay? Now let's put that riff together, shall we? So we're going to have our index finger on the major seventh interval of that E major scale, which really, it's an E flat, we can call it a D sharp, either one, and it's the sixth fret of the A string. So we go with the open E in there, and we're going da, 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 da. And we go up a half step to the seventh fret, which is the root. So boom, boom, boom. So I'm sliding it up to the seventh fret there from the six. Down, down, down. So that seven down to the two, to the two. So. Okay, now we got to add a little bit of extra stuff, really just one note, and it's the same note in octave up. And this is a, a Billy Corgan favorite technique that he uses in multiple songs, including lots of other guitar players, but this is definitely one of the things that he likes to do a lot. And so what we're doing is we're actually letting our index finger and probably the tip of our ring finger too, we're muting this D string here. So we got that sixth fret, the next string's muted, but then my ring finger is going right here to the eighth fret of the G. So here's what we want to hear. We want to hear the open E. We want to hear the sixth fret on the A string want to hear nothing on that D, it needs to be muted. Then we want to hear the eighth of the G. And with my index finger, and my ring finger probably a little bit, but actually really just my index finger, is muting that B in high E. So you get three notes ringing out, a low E, the six on the A, muted D. So you can move that all around with that same technique. So we're going to go so that D string's getting muted and we got the low E ringing out with it. And this is just kind of locked in. Now notice it's not a power chord. That'd be a power chord. We're spreading it out and playing an octave. So the next part 
has the open A string, and we're going to right next door, which is the sixth fret of the D string, and we're going to give it a half step bend. You could use your ring finger. And you got to bend it down that way so you don't block the A string from ringing out. I like using my index finger. For whatever reason, it's just it's like one shape that I can slide up and down with my thumb muting that low E. So I'm just kind of like guaranteed it's a nice little mute there and I know I'm going to just get that open A ringing out. So check it out, we're going... So bend, natural, four, two. Back up, four, six, nine. And that's all coming from the E major scale. together. The next section is an F sharp minor chord to a B major chord, but we're going to use the open B and high E string ringing out. Uh, the open B and high E in the song gives it that jangly character that's kind of going throughout most of the song. So this little turnaround right here is going to be 9 on the A, 7 on the D, 9 on the G, and you get that B and high E to ring out with it. I'm trying to avoid that E. Then we just think of this as the major bar chord, but we're not barring it. We're letting that B and high E ring out. And so that's a B major sus4 is what you would call that, or a B sus4. So you got the turnaround. Sometimes I use these fingers. Not. Okay. Then... Well, actually, so just watch that whole thing now. I'll do it really slow. Turn around. Or with these fingers, sorry. Then we need the chorus, and then we're almost done. So the chorus is an E power chord, which is that root on the seven of the A, seven, nine, nine, but the B and high E ring out with it. <clears throat> the next one we're gonna call an E major seven chord, and it starts from this form. So what we need to do is the index finger is gonna go a half step down Okay, then these are going to switch strings. Ring finger is going to go to the A to the G. Pinky is going to go 9 of the D. And that's an E major 7 from this one. of playing it almost like the verse because we're going to this octave here which is that second fret fourth fourth on the G then an A suspended two which really just means an A chord with the open B string ringing out I usually use those fingers you 
put those together. going along with that. <laughs> I'll spare you. Right? And then that same turnaround. So check this out. Before the second chorus, instead, it's a weird thing that happens, but instead of that turnaround I taught you, it's very similar, but we're just going to play it as a power chord here. It's that second fret power chord to an A power chord before the second chorus. Instead of... That second time through, it goes right into the chorus, though. Okay? Then, instead of doing the turnaround on that second chorus, because it's going to now go into the final part I'm going to teach you, is called the bridge, and it's real easy, it just doesn't do a turnaround, it goes straight into the bridge. So if you're doing the chorus, so we're going to play power chords, and it's going to be a B power chord, which is the second fret. 4th fret, and in the 90s they played the super power chord a lot, 4th fret on the G if you want. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 4 and up a whole step, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and to then an A power chord, open 2, 2. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There you have it. Hope you had fun. It was, you know, real fun to figure out. I love those little cool little tricks like that with the open strings. Always enjoyable. Uh, appreciate that extra support down there, you guys, below this box, uh, the site and the social media stuff. And also, just thanks for the support. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to see each other in another video real soon, maybe even right after this. So, see you there.